greet you in the matchless name of Jesus. We thank God for this opportunity to come together and pray. Amen. Put in your prayer requests. If you have a praise report, you got the testimony. Amen. You can say what the Lord has done for you. Encourage somebody else. Encourage me. I need to hear some good news. Amen. Hallelujah. It said they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And so it's always good to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Amen. The blessings of the Lord. Amen. And so we greet you in the name of Jesus. Again, we will have no uh, no script today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Just just wanted to uh, come on and share with you for a minute. And then, amen, we're going to go before the Lord and we're going to pray. Amen. Set our hearts and minds for prayer and uh, constant communication with the Lord. Amen. And we always should keep the lines of communication open. Amen. With God. Amen. Yes, he is omnipotent. Amen. He has all power. He's omniscient. Omniscience. Amen. Hallelujah. Which which begs the, the, the question, if it's a theory of relativity, if it's a theory of evolution, if it's a theory, amen, hallelujah, of the cosmos, then then how is that science? Science is knowledge. Amen. Theory is conjecture. Conjecture, I've learned in school, and if you read it in the dictionary, uh, conjecture is not fact. That's a, it's a hypothesis. It's a guess. Amen. It, it may be an educated guess, but it's, it, it can be a, a Ph.D. guess is, is no different than a man preschool guessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's both a guess. Amen. It's more educated. It makes more sense, but it's still a guess. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so conjecture is not fact. And so uh, we, you can't call it science. Science means knowledge. Amen. It means what you know. And so uh, I had arguments with many professors and teachers and amen, people who think they know, amen. And, and oftentimes we have this discussion and they can't seem to answer that question in the technical sense of the word science, amen, knowledge, look it up, amen, hallelujah. Then you can't accept theory and you can't, and a lot of people make a lot of money and they get very famous off their theories. Amen. Hallelujah. But if it's proven fact, then that's science. What we know is science. Amen. Because science is knowledge. <clears throat> and so uh, we know that God is real. We know, amen, of his power, of his might. We know of his word. Amen. How to mistranslate it. Amen. Absolutely. Uh, but, amen, some of it mistranslated, amen, because it's lost in translation, amen. But, but it does not change uh, the essence of what God has given to us in Scripture, amen, especially the Old Testament, what meticulously, amen, uh, transcribed what happened, amen, hallelujah, and, and with Israel and their journey with God, amen. The Old Testament is just a testament, amen, the story, amen of Israel, the church, I mean, the Israel, the God's chosen people. And the New Testament is just the theory, amen. I mean, it's the testament of the, uh, of the church. <coughs> Given by those disciples, those followers of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all can tell I'm, I'm still working on my uh, dissertation tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, working on that uh, Jerusalem at Pentecost. Amen. Tune in seven o'clock tonight for that. Amen. Been diving into Jerusalem. Amen. Hallelujah. At the time of Pentecost and the shift in the paradigm shift that happened. Amen. At Pentecost. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, I've been working on that and researching and people have been researching Jerusalem for their life. Amen. Hallelujah. I got this word on Friday. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm going to do the best I can. Amen. Not a theologian. Hallelujah. Not a scholar. Hallelujah. Just a young man. Who God said, amen. I'm going to save you at 15 years old and send you down a street called straight. Amen. Hallelujah. And start walking in the path of righteousness. Amen. I haven't always been right or righteous. Hallelujah. But he sent me down the path. 
in the in the month of May. Amen. When I was 15 years old, May 2nd, May 22nd. Amen. He filled me with his precious gift of the Holy Ghost and said, Amen. Amen. The world is no longer your life. Amen. I didn't get it till years later, but amen. He said it there. Amen. Hallelujah. But we thank God for that journey. We thank God for you. And we thank God for the lines of communication that we need to keep open to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Some pray. Amen. And put in requests again and again and again. My children, my family. Amen. My, my, my pain in my body, my sickness, my bills. Amen. Whatever it may be. Hallelujah. Just like you go to the bank for money, you go to God for deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. He'll hear your faintest cry. He'll answer by and by. When you feel the prayer wheel turning, then you know that the fire is burning. So we know that he exists. Amen. Hallelujah. And we know that God is and he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Amen. I was asked many years ago before I became a pastor. Amen. It was in Sunday school at back at Antioch. Amen. Hallelujah. And somebody asked the question, why would do you need to ask God for things he know you need in the first place? Amen. Hallelujah. And I, I told him, amen. You don't have you invoke his presence. You know, your mom in the house. Amen. But if you need your mom, you say, ma. Amen. If you know your child in the house, amen, they already there and they know you there. Amen. Hallelujah. You call that child that you want uh, present before you. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, the, the, the Hebrew boy said, oh, king, we're not careful to ask you in this matter for the God that we serve is able to deliver. But if he don't deliver, we won't bow down. We invoked his presence. We invoke him into the situation. Paul and Silas giving God praise in jail. Amen. They invoke his presence. Amen. To the gate shook loose. Amen. Hallelujah. And they walked out free. Hallelujah. They are free by the power of God. Amen. Because they didn't close the line of communication because of their situation. Amen. Hallelujah. David hiding in the cave, but the lines of communication with God stayed open despite him being in a cave, being in a bad situation. Amen. Saul chasing him down. Hallelujah. But God is keeping him. Amen. Hallelujah. He's in the darkness of the cave. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and oppressed and chased by Saul. And he writes, he pens this song. Hallelujah. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Shall I be afraid when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes come upon me to eat of my flesh? They stumble and fail. Hallelujah. So he, he, he invokes God present and he he reassures God that even though I know I'm going through this situation, isn't that something? That's why he was a man after God's own heart. Hallelujah. Because he's saying, I'm not letting none of these things move me. I will maintain my integrity. No matter what, I'm going to stay whole. I'm a hold to God's unchanging hand. I know who the source of my strength is. Amen. That's why Job was a faithful and upright man. Amen. Because he said, the Lord know the way I take. And when I'm tried in the fight, when I get out of this, hallelujah, and not if I get get out of it not that the enemy is going to overtake me my wife my family my wife they think i'm crazy hallelujah my friends think i didn't did something wrong outside of the will of god but yet i know my relationship with god is good amen my situation is not good amen but my relationship with him is good amen the lord know the way i take he knows whether i'm in a righteous stance or not Hallelujah. And when I'm tried in this, amen, when I come out of this, amen, I'm going to come out with purity. I'm innocent. Hallelujah. Amen. That, that prosecutor and the detectives and all those that put the case against the person. Hallelujah. Amen. They say guilty. But that person knows that they they didn't do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They didn't do it. And they maintain their innocence. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so that because they're in communication with God and what happens here in our lives. Amen. Is irrelevant to my connection to God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's that's the outside. That's the extemporous things. Amen. But there's something down on the inside working on the outside. But David said, I want to know you in my inward parts. Amen. I just don't want to look like a Christian and act like a Christian and walk like a Christian. I want to be a good Christian in my heart. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And so let's keep those lines of communication open. Don't 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 don't. Um, amen. Don't get discouraged. Amen. Hallelujah. Be not weary and well doing. Galatians says, amen. Hallelujah. For in due season, you shall reap 
if you faint not, amen, stay connected to God. Keep calling on his name. The, the devil wants you to stop. He wants you to give up. Amen. I, I feel somebody ready to quit now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Amen. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Build your hope on things eternal. Amen. Hallelujah. The devil said, come on back to me. Hallelujah. We used to be friends. We used to hang out. We used to do stuff. Uh, you remember when this happened? And you remember when that happened? I did that for you. Hallelujah. He wants you to come back to him. Amen. But he that plowed the field and looking back is not fit for the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Onward, Christian soldiers. Fight as to war. Amen. Hallelujah. Forgetting those things that are behind me and reaching forward to them things that are before. We press toward the mark of a high calling in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't give up. The, who you with now is far better than who you was with before. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Who you was with now, I said, being with God now and in Christ now is far better. Better benefits, amen, hallelujah. Better rewards, amen. Better feeling, amen, How to have cognition, amen. Things ain't always cloudy because of what you were doing and who you was hanging out with, amen. A lot of our friends back in the past, amen, they were friends based on what we did for them and what we hung out and did. It was social things, amen, social reason. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. But if we commit our way to the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. The Bible says he will bring it to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. He will bring it to pass. I wish somebody said that within themselves right now. He will bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. He will bring it to pass. Amen. He will bring forth thy righteousness as, as noonday. Hallelujah. Amen. He will bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Hey, God, thank you. Hallelujah. Said in faith. Look at whatever it is. That might be a situation right now. You look at it right now. Hallelujah. But you got to say in faith, God will. Hallelujah. Deliver. God will make a way. God will open doors that seem closed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give it to the Lord. I gave it over to the Lord and he Worked it out. Guess what? He the one that can. Hallelujah. Amen. We talking to the one that can. Amen. We talking to the one that will deliver. We talking to the one that will make a way out of no way and open doors that seem closed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We got to trust him today. We got to believe on him. We got to yield. Amen. To God. And allow him to have the preeminence in our life and in our hearts and in our minds. Amen. Say it with authority. Amen. Hallelujah. And know that God will. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There, there's a blessing, saints. Now, now I don't know these people that everything is perfect. Everything is all right. You got the best kids in the world to get all A's. They never talk back to the teacher. Amen. They never act up in school. Amen. Or on the bus. Or so. I don't know these people. Y'all, if y'all know some, let you know, tell them stay away from me. I don't, I don't want to be nowhere near them. Amen. These perfect people. Amen. When they pray their feet, they float off the ground. Amen. Hallelujah. They're so perfect. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But, but, but I know some folk, amen, that come through hard trials and come through tribulation. Amen. Come through slavery and amen. Abuse. Hallelujah. Come through all great big trials and tribulations, yet they hold to God's unchanging hand. Amen. Hallelujah. God's not real. Jesus, they used it to keep them people in slavery. The white man used it to keep the, the slaves, the blacks enslaved. Yes, they did. Hallelujah. You think I'm going to deny that? Amen. I can't deny fact. Amen. Hallelujah. You got you got Christians that believe those ain't real dinosaurs, but they're sitting over at the Smithsonian right now. Hallelujah. I can't tell you that dinosaurs didn't exist when they when the bones are sitting right there in the museum. Hallelujah. That, that's ignorance. Hallelujah. I'm not here to explain the 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 T-Rex. Amen. Hallelujah. Or the raptors. I'm not that's not what God called me to do as a pastor. He told me to preach Jesus Christ and him crucified. Hallelujah. That's there too. They got they got plenty they got plenty of buildings with him in there. Hallelujah. Amen. You go to that building. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. That's not my my job to explain the dinosaurs the bible says in the beginning and so when he said in the beginning that's the beginning of us amen hallelujah the beginning of, of adam hallelujah amen and the, the 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 people of god amen hallelujah so it there was no need to explain the dinosaurs amen people get you caught up in in a whole bunch of semantics that don't mean anything amen and you lose the message of the bible the message of the bible is love Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God loved us that when we messed up in the garden, he cleaned us up. Amen. We couldn't stay there, but he cleaned us up. 
amen, killed a, a amen, killed a little uh, lamb, amen, hallelujah, and, and, and clothed them, amen, hallelujah. But you had to get out of here because if you hit that tree of life, you'll live forever, amen. So you got to leave the garden, hallelujah. And But he then he still chose Abraham, a people of, of his nation, amen, and cho told uh, 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 Noah to build a ark, amen, because he's going to destroy the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of his love for us, he wanted us to live according to who created it. He made everything. Hallelujah. So what should we do? We should live according to our own will. No, we got to live according to the creator. Amen. What did Paul tell Timothy? Remember the, the creator in the days of thy youth. Amen. Remember who made you. Who brought you in this world? Amen. He can take us out. Amen. Remember the parents telling you that. I brought you in this world. Hallelujah. I can take you out of here. Amen. Hallelujah. We can have another one look just like you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So God made us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But he is not willing that any should perish, but all come to repentance. Amen. So we, we keep the lines of communication open. I guess that's the subject. We want to keep the lines of communication open. Amen. With God today. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't stop praying, saints. Don't stop believing. Amen. You're going to go through great trials and tribulations. Amen. And situations in your life. But don't stop praying. Amen. Stay connected to him. Somebody ready to give up because God wouldn't say that if he wouldn't tell me to say that if it wasn't true for somebody in somebody's life. Amen. You get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But hold to his hand. Amen. Some people have left you down. Amen. My faith in God is absolute. My, my, my uh, understanding is not perfect of his word. Amen. I'm still on the journey myself, but, but I believe in his word and I know his word is true. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I trust God. I trust his word. Hallelujah. I just got some problems with these people walking, these two legged people walking around here. Amen. No goats and horses and amen. Dogs and cats. Amen. It's these two legged. Amen. Mammals. Amen. How you talking about gorillas? Amen. Hallelujah. Or chimpanzee. Amen. I'm talking about some two legged mammals. Amen. That walk around here. Amen. Hallelujah. I got some issues with them and I've always had. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. How did, I'm tired, but I won't let go. That's right. Amen. Sister Alexis, don't let go. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Hallelujah. The devil wants you to get up right and give up right in front of your blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you win another block, your blessing was waiting right there. Amen. But you turn around and you give up. You quit. Amen. Too soon. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep on fighting to the victory. Y'all know that song. Amen. It ain't over. I, I should have played that one till God says it's over. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not over till God says you're done. Amen. You got to keep on fighting to the victory is one. All those children and people that look up to you, people that need you in their life. When you give up, you give up on them. I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor seed. Amen. Hallelujah. Begging bread. What did that mean, Pastor? Amen. Sound cute, but I don't know what it means. It means this, that God is going to take care of his people. Amen. That God loves us. Amen. Hallelujah. And he works in his time. And just because, amen, it's not like the bag of popcorn. If you want to make some good popcorn, you get some thick grease. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, now this ain't healthy, but the old fashioned Lord, amen, to get hot and pop it in there. But you got to get some, amen, you can get some olive oil or some canola. Amen. It's, it's too light. It'll burn. It'll burn real fast on you. Amen. You got to get something that's thick like peanut oil. Amen. Hallelujah. Or coconut oil. Now, coconut oil is what they use in the movie theater. Amen. Hallelujah. So you can take that coconut oil and let it get hot. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep the kids away from you. Throw them seeds in there and them boys will start popping. Hallelujah. That's why they call it that popcorn because you put it in that hot oil. It starts popping. Hallelujah. Amen. And it starts getting popping up, popping up, popping up. Amen. And fill up and then you put you something on there. Amen. Now, now it unto itself is very healthy for you. It's fiber. It's good. Rich in fiber. Amen. The salt that we put on is not good for us. Amen. The butter that we put on there is not good for us. Amen. I feel a little turmeric in mine. Amen. Hallelujah. To make it yellow. Hallelujah. And it's good for me with some black pepper and I'm good right there. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So to get it going, you got to make it hot. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So to get, so, so we got to, even though things get hot, amen, things get tough and it get rough sometimes.
sometimes. Amen. Hallelujah. God is with us. Even in that rough situation. Amen. In that per I'm there. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy. Hallelujah. Shall, sup, shall, shall, shall be with me. Hallelujah. All the days of my life, and I dwell the house of the, of the Lord forever. Who shall separate us, Paul said, from the love of God? This distress, pearl, sword. In other words, these ain't good times. And this is not mountaintop. This is valley low. So even though it's happening, amen, hallelujah, to me, I know it's not going to destroy me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because of my relationship, God covers his people. He covers me. He favored me. Amen. Hallelujah. He got you. Amen. Hallelujah. He's You're on his side. I don't fear what man can do to me. Amen. Because I'm on the Lord's side. I'm going through, but on the other side of through for the joy that was set before him. He endured the cross, despised the shame, sat down on the right hand of power on high. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So, amen. Don't stop praying. If the past we called in, amen. We keeping them open. We called in on, on the prayer line. Amen. That's good. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I just want to encourage you. Amen. Don't stop praying. Amen. Don't stop calling on the name of the Lord. Just don't, don't stop praying over your house. Amen. Praying over your family, your children. Amen. That very one that you can't get along with. Y'all seem like y'all not getting along. Amen. Y'all say the, they say the. You say tomato, they say tomato. You say potato, they say potato. Hallelujah. Amen. It don't make a difference. You say Tuesday, they say it's Friday. Hallelujah. No matter what you say, it's an argument. They're contrary now. Hallelujah. Amen. I can't say nothing without an argument starting. That very one, but they got to go to sleep at some point. When they go to sleep, anoint the house, anoint the, the TV, everything. Amen. Anoint them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And, and decree and declare. It's nothing like a mama's prayer. Amen. Or a parent's prayer over a child. Amen. Pray for your house. Invoke him in your house. Have Bible study. Have prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, before y'all go to school, just a quick minute, let's have a prayer. We we can eat together. We can talk about everything else in the world. We can't pray. Come on, let's talk Let's talk to the Lord before y'all leave here. Amen. And when you come home, let's thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Be gracious. Smile when you see them. Amen. Some kids left the house and didn't come back home. Hallelujah. Some husbands left the house and didn't come back home. Some wives left the house and didn't come back home. Amen. So whenever they come back through those doors or you come through those doors, greet them. Amen. And smile. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if their clothes are raggedy and they got a, a spot on their kneecap. Amen. Hallelujah. Smile at your child and your family member and greet them with love. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And watch God turn that relationship around. When they come down the step looking like a looking like a mess, hallelujah, and you ready to get back up those, you told, you know I told you not to wear that, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, but before you say that, take 10 seconds, amen, say good morning, praise the Lord, God, how are you this week, it's good to see you, and you had a nice rest last night, amen, hallelujah, be kindly, affection one toward another, and then tell them, amen, go back upstairs and change your clothes, you know I told you, you can't wear that, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, and check the book bag, amen, Amen. Especially these young ladies. Amen. I have some God daughters. I know. Hallelujah. Amen. They got the clothes they wear out the house and they got another they got another outfit waiting at the school. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to hurt somebody now. That child in the room right now, she mad at me right now. I'm just letting you know. Amen. They're keeping it in the locker and in their book bags. Amen. So check the book bag before they go out the door. Amen. Hallelujah. Because they got all kinds of stuff. And you might not be ready for what you're about to see in that book bag. Amen. Hallelujah. And that, that young man's book bag too. Same thing. Amen. He don't have the same thing, but you know what I'm saying? There's some things in there you, you're not ready to see. Amen. Hallelujah. But, but that's your job right now. Until they grown and on their own amen how investigate everything know all their business hallelujah in the name of jesus hallelujah amen god bless you hallelujah but keep the lines of communication open what we're about to do right now amen pray into the lord amen hallelujah instant in season and out of season season we're going to pray to the lord when i feel like when i don't feel like when i'm mad at god for what he won't do for me Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he's a, he allowed me to live another day. Doesn't mean it's going to happen today, but it's happening. It's going to happen. 
Amen. All things work together for the good of them that love God, uh, them that, that are called according to his purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. So God knows what you need and he has what you need. Amen. Hallelujah. And sometimes his answer is no. You got to praise him when he gives you the blessing and you got to praise him when he says no. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't handle that. It's not for you. But he'll just say no. He won't explain. He don't have to. He's God. He's sovereign. So he don't have to explain. Sometimes you told your child no. You didn't explain. Why? That, and you know, the, you, know the, you know the kid's anthem, don't you? Amen. Y'all know parent, every parent in here know the kid's anthem. The kid's anthem is that's not fair. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If I had a dollar, we'd be in Agape Temple right now. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. That's not fair. Hallelujah. Welcome to life, baby. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Life's not fair. Hallelujah. But you got to push through. Amen. Hallelujah. But God is fair. And he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for the people of God. Lord God, we thank you for those that chimed in and called in. Amen. Hallelujah. Those that are listening to the podcast today. Lord God, keeping those lines of communication open with you. Amen. The bank might have said no. Hallelujah. Amen. HUD might have said no. Uh, the realtor might have said no. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The employer might have said no. Hallelujah. But God, the lines are open with you. Hallelujah, Lord God. The lines of communication are open and we're going to call on the name of the Lord. We're going to bless you at all times and, and your praise is going to be continually be in our mouth. We're going to bless you, Lord God. We're going to magnify you. We're going to lift you up, Lord Jesus. We might not have the things we want, Lord God, but we know you have the cattle on a thousand hills. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. You, but We belong to you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. And you shall supply all our need according to your riches and glory. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider, God. Hallelujah. You are El Shaddai. You're the almighty God. So we trust and believe in you today. Hallelujah, Lord God. We lay it all at your feet, Lord. Hallelujah. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the King of Kings. You are Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, he which was, is, and is to come, the almighty God. And we trust you today. Amen. We put all our faith and trust in you. Bless the Bailey family and the loss of Sister Daisy uh, Bailey. Lord God, bless Ruby and Betty and all the, the brothers and all the family members. Lord God, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, all the bereaved families everywhere. Lord God, we put your hand upon them, Lord God. The people that are uh, down in the Dominican, their family members, they, uh, those who passed away, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And they don't know what happened. Lord God, it's bad enough that they passed away with and not knowing what happened. Amen. And who did what? Lord God, hallelujah, Lord God. Open up that investigation, Lord God, from heaven and let it be revealed what happened, Lord God, so the people can get some closure in their life. A lot of people have don't have closure in their life, Lord God, hallelujah. And the circumstances of their loved one's death, Lord God, uh, uh, there's a haze over it, Lord God, hallelujah. Move every obstacle and hindrance, Lord God, so people may know and have closure in their life, Lord God. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you bless the prayer band here, amen, our noonday prayer band, and every prayer request, Lord God, everything that went up before you, Lord God, we ask for your divine hand upon them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Make a way out of nowhere, open doors that seem closed. Touch our lives, Lord God. Let it be pleasing in thy sight. Every day that we live, let it be a close to walk with you, Lord God, hallelujah, for all the blessings come out of our obedience to your word, Lord God, and so we want to be obedient, and if we're willing and obedient, you should eat the good of the land, and Lord God, we ask, Lord God, that we touch the lives of your people, whatever it is, amen, that they're going through, our prayer band, Lord God, and the friends and families of our prayer bands, their homes, their living situations, Lord God, foxes have holes and birds have nests, but the Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head, and so, Lord God, we ask for your divine hand upon your people, People living out in the streets, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, bless, touch, and deliver, whether it's mental illness, whether it's a financial situation, whatever it may be, Lord God, hallelujah, you did not give us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind, so we rebuke mental illness, we rebuke, amen, those that say, I can't think for myself, I can't live for myself, amen, hallelujah, we can do all things through Christ that strengthen us, Lord God, so we speak soundness of mind, amen, that they may accept you as their Lord and Savior, Lord God, and that you may raise them up, Lord God, and to acknowledge you, Lord God, hallelujah, to be a, a believer in Christ Jesus, Lord God, bless the pastors and leaders, Lord God, all over.
over the world, Lord God, that's preaching Christ and him crucified. Those that are teaching and, and, and learning more about you every day themselves, Lord God. Hallelujah. Let the people stand on the wall and do a good work, amen, and not come down, Lord God. Hallelujah. A charge we keep, we have, a charge to keep, we have a God to glorify. And we thank you. We praise your holy name. Continue to bless this ministry, Lord God, and thank you for the 12 years you blessed us to be, amen, an impact to the Springfield community and beyond. We thank you for this, amen, the service, amen, and the celebration, amen. And we thank you for Pastor Tony Ray Smith that preached a powerful word. We walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. And we thank God for that powerful word on Sunday. And we're looking forward to hearing what uh, Bishop Butler is going to say on Friday and, and Bishop Logan is going to say on Sunday. Amen. And so, Lord God, we look to that with great expectation. We thank you. We praise you. We magnify your holy name. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And amen. God bless you, family. We love you in Jesus name. Join us. Amen. This weekend for amen. Uh, our amen. 12th anniversary celebration. Amen. Got a surprise for you. Amen. Maybe Friday, maybe Sunday. Amen. Hallelujah. But come on out. Amen. We love you in Jesus name. We're closing out. Amen. Hallelujah. With our scripture. Amen. First Timothy. First chapter 17 verse now to the king eternal immortal invisible the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever let the church say amen hug somebody tell them that you love them this is the agape way God bless you family love you in Jesus name Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Budenai Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.